Dobermans are known for their intelligence, high energy, and obedience. Training should start when your puppy enters the home to help with adulthood. Even petting your dog will require training if you wish for them to grow up well. When Goldberg discusses introducing new people to dogs, he says that Dobermans are jumpy. He suggests training your Doberman not to jump when meeting new people before adults would benefit owners. Dobermans excel at training, so use any available opportunity to make your puppy a loyal and devoted family member. The reward will be a well-mannered companion. Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for a regular dose of enlightening dog-related content. Now, let's go into this video and learn about the Doberman training methods. Eight weeks to 16 weeks. Smart socialization is key. Because Doberman puppies keep a long memory, it's essential to make sure that they avoid any negative stimuli. We advise, when bringing your new puppy home, expose them to many positive things to help them develop the sense of self-worth and confidence before they grow up. Breathers of Dobermans and other large dogs suggest against taking your dog to public areas where there are known risks or encountering others, potentially rabid dogs and other dangers. A good mentor to help you find a safe, kind, and well-trained pup can be found in many experienced dogs within the owner's social circle. One of Goldberg's tips for owners is to teach your Doberman puppy to greet people politely without jumping by the time you reach 70 pounds or more. To prepare your dog to sit with a relaxed, calm demeanor, follow these steps. Pretend to feed them a treat while placing it an inch above the puppy's nose and back towards his ears, and the dog will soon learn how to behave. Introduce recall and attention training. At this stage, kneel down and call her by name. When she's absent-minded and wanders a few feet off, wait until she's wandering away from you to get your dog's attention. Then shouting or clapping will get her to come to you. Dog owners must be careful not to grab or raise their voices during these training sessions. That would unintentionally teach the dog to avoid you, which would be the opposite of what you want to teach. Reward them with treats only when they come, when called. She'll learn quickly. Getting a puppy's attention and keeping their focus on you is the foundation for every other training, and especially for competitive dog sports. How to housebreak a Doberman. Use the outside command to get them going. The order should be given enthusiastically in a high-pitched voice. Keep your dog on a leash and take him outside the designated potty area. Go on a 30-minute potty break when your dog is in the restroom. When your dog finishes urinating, praise your pet with a high-pitched voice with treats and call them over to rejoin you. Place a crate in a spot free of distractions. Keep it with treats and give your puppy time out in the crate. Start by confining your puppy for five minutes when you're nearby. Gradually increase the time to five minutes and then 10 minutes. Adding increments daily until you have time out for 30 minutes. When you enter the house, your Dobie might go in their nose or pee on your rug. If he did, quickly say no with enthusiasm and then command him to go outside. When he goes outside, give him an appropriate praise and a treat. Introducing crate training. It can be challenging to train a Doberman to accept his crate, but following these steps will help. Your Doberman's comfort is essential, and treats or toys often work wonders for training them. It would help if you had a container, blanket, and toys before you start training your ferret. Those items can help encourage good behavior, and the right attitude is everything. Training will require consistency, a positive mental outlook, and willpower. Creating the perfect size crate is key. Smaller crates that allow a dog to stand up, turn around, and move a little, but not much more than that, are best. You don't want your dog to think he has room to go to the toilet there. After you fulfill this set of limitations and placed your dog in a friendly part of the house, you should close it to prevent him from feeling worried. Begin by picking up his crate before meals. This will help him associate the area next to his crate as a positive place. 
Water bowls can also be placed nearby. At first, please keep him in the crate for a couple of minutes and talk to him through the sides. Then, gradually move forward away from the crate. Be patient and slow at first. Avoid overstimulating your pup until you know what he can handle. Once he's comfortable, allow him to roam around a bit. It's good to have him outside the crate in the morning, day, and evening. If he's a young puppy, more daily opportunities will make a difference. The key to encouraging your dog to spend time in his crate is associating it with positive rewards. Leaving a treat there for him each evening makes taking his crate as easy as pie. How to potty train a Doberman. One primary consideration when potty training a Doberman is to find the right spot. It must be close enough that your dog won't have accidents, but far from doors and windows because smells can stay outside. Pick an area in your yard to take your dog when it's time for a bathroom break and reward him with praise as soon as he does his business. Keep the routine consistent so your pup knows where to potty. If you're inconsistent, the dog will find another spot to use. Schedule potty breaks for your dog on a set schedule. Get him out of his crate or play area every 30 minutes. If he's not getting to the potty fast enough, take him back inside, watch him closely, and clean up after him throughout the day. Once you've reached the hang of it, the program becomes automatic, and you will never need to worry about keeping a close eye on your furry friend while he's going to the potty again. As a new pet owner, you should carry out the first two weeks of house training your animal. Even if your dog doesn't appear to need to go outside, take him out after he drinks water and eats before doing anything else. Praise and reward this behavior for the time being. Introducing Leash Training As a Doberman, your dog is sensitive and will not react well to harsh handling. Use a chest or a head harness to prevent damage and reward your dog with toys, treats, or affection. Make sure you wear safe and sensible shoes and are prepared to do some training at a moderate pace. Start training when your Doberman is not exhausted, but is awake, calm, but not too tired. Put the leash on your dog and begin walking. Walk at a good pace with about five feet of the leash. For example, click each time you come to a stop or use a noisemaker to associate a treat with the action, like clicking before your dog comes to you for one. Practice until your Doberman comes to you for pleasure whenever you make the sound. Start using a click, treat, and reward system for training your Doberman. Whenever your dog puts pressure on the leash simultaneously, it will give you an audible signal. If they're distracted by something in one direction, practice going in another. Dobermans have a strong pack instinct when they pull on the leash. If your Doberman begins pulling, do not move with her and wait for it to return. Once it's walking next to you nicely, turn back and go the way you want it to in the first place. This teaches your dog that if it wants to go somewhere, he has to keep a leash loose. Dogs learn this quickly and can make training go faster. 16 weeks to six months. Manage puppy biting. Lack of sleep can cause aggressive behavior. Many dogs may become irritable and bite excessively without adequate sleep and rest. If this happens to your dog, make sure they have plenty of time for naps as well as lots of play times. It can be easy to underestimate how much sleep your dog needs. An exhausted puppy doesn't look tired. They tend to ramp up zooming around the house, nipping anyone who tries to stop them. Stop your Doberman from whining. Stop your dog from whining by ignoring the behavior. Once your Doberman starts to whine, praise him for being quiet and turning your back on him. If he continues, ignore him until he stops. This will quickly teach him that whining does not get attention. Don't talk to your dog while they're whining. Providing your Doberman with proper exercise can prevent him from whining. It will also limit his pent-up energy and keep him fit. However, it is essential to ensure he gets plenty of mental stimulation to avoid boredom. When disciplining a dog, getting them to pay attention to you is vital and 
Scent is the foundation for impulse control. To build attention training in your pup or inactive pet, build relationships with them and play games together so that their desires for you grow stronger. Dobermans are natural companions that want to be by your side, which is why bonding and playing with them will help reinforce this concept. If you liked the video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel. Thanks for staying with us.